Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Hope you are well. I am Muhammad Samad Khan, lecturer, Department of Accounting, Dhaka College, Dhaka. Today, the topic is a theory of capital structure, lecture number three. The course name is Corporate Finance and Financial Management. Okay, dear students. In the previous class, we have already learned the NI program, uh, which is introduced by David Durand in 1952. You already learned this. So, dear students, already we have learned that what are the assumptions of NI approach and criticisms. Okay, we already found there, the two components are found there in an approach. I mean, one is common stock and another is debt or debenture. Then we are already learned in assumptions of an approach that cost of equity always greater than cost of debt and cost of equity and cost of debt are constant where NOI I mean net income net operating operating income or EVIT is constant okay and also we learn that uh, risk are always in everywhere in every business okay dear students let's uh, see the question today uh, we will learn the sum of maths about or according to the NI approach okay please dear students let's see the question in the whiteboard which is written in the whiteboard please say ABC company has an expected income 1,20,000 taka and equity capitalization rate K is K is 12% and 4 lakh of 8% debt. Calculate the cost of capital. Calculate the cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital. The students, you already learned this in an approach according to the an approach that if uh, leverage is increase in a firm then uh, the value of the firm will be increased and the weighted average cost of capital uh, will be decreased but if the uh, leverage decrease then uh, value of the firm decrease and weighted average cost of capital increase okay we already learned this that uh, Capital structure decision is relevant to the value of the valuation of the firm under under an approach or according to the an approach. Okay, dear students, let's see. First time we solve this math where uh, given where N O I is one lakh twenty thousand. Taka KE is 12% and KD is 8%. Okay, the students say if I want to calculate the cost of capital, then we know that cost of capital overall cost of capital equal NOI B that means here NOI equal 1,20,000 taka but there is no B I mean B equal what is B? B equal we know that S plus D we know that S plus D so here D is for luck but there is no S or the market value of shares or the 
I mean, I want to say market value of equity shares. So, B equal S plus D. Here, KO equal NOIV. I mean, B is total value of the firm. Total value of the firm. So, at first, we, we should bring out the KE. I mean, bring out the S. I mean, market value of shares or common shares. Okay? So, KE equal E by S or P. KE equal E by S or P. So, implies that KE is 12%, I mean 1.2 and E, I mean NOI by minus R. Here, R means total interest or total charges. Total interest. Okay? So, divided S. So, Point one two divide in equal one lakh twenty thousand taka minus eight percent of four lakh. I mean thirty two thousand taka. divided as so point one to equal it divided as eighty eight thousand taka so s equal So S equal uh, seven lakh something. So V equal S plus D. So S is then D four lakh. So seven lakh plus four lakh eleven. Okay, so V is equal eleven lakh thirty thousand taka. Then, then world cost of capital is then V. I mean so. One twenty divided ten point ten point five eight five nine percent. Okay, so here, ah, uh, here overall cost of capital is ten point five nine. So we should cram, we should remember the overall cost of capital is 10.59%. Okay, let's see. Okay, dear students, if I use the debt 6 lakh exchange of 4 lakh, then what will be happen? Okay, then what will be happen? If I use six lakh instead of four lakh, it will be six lakh instead of four lakh. Here in this situation, we increase the leverage in this method. 
if I increase this reverse, what will happen? Okay, please, dear student, let's say. So, K E S equal E divided K. So, E I mean minus six lakh eight percent. Six lakh. Eight percent forty eight thousand taka divided K, I mean one point point one two. So one twenty minus forty eight divided point one two. So it is six lakh. So V equal S plus D. So S is six lakh. Then D is six lakh. So here twelve lakh. Twelve lakh. Okay. So K O equal N O I divided B. So N O I one lakh twenty thousand taka divided twelve lakh. So one lakh twenty thousand taka so it is point one, I mean ten percent. I mean ten percent. Okay, it is ten percent. Okay, the students, let's see both of two the maths. I mean, first one say first one K O equal. 10.59 okay 10.59 first one is overall cost of capital is 10.59 and on that time the bill of the firm is 11 lakh 33,000 something okay then second one is when, uh, when the leverage is increased I mean 4 lakh to 6 lakh then where cost of capital is uh, ten percent. So overall cost of capital decreased, decreased by point five nine percent. Okay, decreased by point five nine percent. Okay, and bill of the firm, bill of the firm increased, bill of the firm increased by. Sixty-six thousand six hundred sixty-six or sixty-seven taka, as like that. Okay, dear students, I think so, and I expect that all of you already learned this and already realized this. Please, dear students, say first time I already uh, seen this and I already told to you this that here. First time is first one is 10.59 of overall cost of capital. Then second, when labor is increased four lakh from six lakh, then uh, then the overall cost of capital is 10 percent, which decreased by the overall capital decreased by 0.59 percent, and the bill of the firm bill of the firm increased by 66,667 taka. Okay, I think so. Then I want to solve another math. Uh, if the uh, debt or leverage will decrease, then I think if the if the leverage will uh, will be too lack will be too lack exchange of four lack. I think first one is to four lack. 
then second one is 6 lakh and third one is I think 2 lakh first time is 4 lakh debt or debenture okay so what, what will be happened in this maths we see that 2 lakh so here overall cost of capital I mean market value of shares s equal s equal e divided k so e i mean n y minus r or i minus so that k is 1.1 plus so Sixty six thousand sixty six hundred sixty seven taka. Okay, so here S equal sorry B equal S plus D. So here S equal eight lakh sixty six thousand six hundred sixty seven taka. Then two lakh is debt. So ten lakh sixty six thousand six hundred sixty seven taka. Okay. So overall cost of capital is N Y divided V. So N Y or X bar divided V. So Eleven point two five percent. Eleven point two five percent. So here, let's see. Here we already solved three maths. When first one is uh, all of the things are equal. I mean constant. I mean all of the things are first. Th first thing is N O I. N -O -I or EVI it is 1 lakh 20,000 it is fixed or constant then KE rate is constant and uh, KD rate is constant but we already changes the leverage so debentures first one is 4 lakh second one is 6, six lakh and third one is 2 lakh and in this three maths if we compare in this among the three maths we what we see we see that we see that first one is first one is first one is k o equal 10.59 second one it is first one second one is 10 when that is 4 lakh, here that is 6 lakh, and then 11.25, when that is, it is 2, it is 3, when that is 2 lakh. Okay, and value of the firm B on the time, on the first one is 11,33,300. 33 333 taka approximate i think that okay second one is it is first one second one is 12 lakh 
third one is 10 lakh. So I think that the leverage is relevant to the capital structure de de decision. I think that you already learned this and we already realized this. What I want to say about this and I approach because if the leverage is if we leverage increase the leverage then increase the value of the firm increase the value of the firm and decrease the cost of capital and or if uh, decrease the leverages then we decrease the value of the firm and then increase the overall cost of capital only we seen this if we use two lakh like debt i mean it is list out of three then on that time it is 11.25 percent overall cost of capital when it is four lakh when we use leverage four lakh then it is 10.59 percent when we we use leverage six lakh i mean it is high rate then it is low rate of overall cost of capital Okay, I think all of you engross this. Thank you.